Genshin Impact has already shown its weakness, or so most of you thought. Yesterday, before the release of Wuthering Waves, Genshin Impact posted this news that everyone has been waiting for for years now. This is the increase in resin cap. Most of you think of this as Genshin Impact, thinking that they will get run over by Wuthering Waves, so now they're changing. Yes, this is true, but this is also a sign that the competition effect is working. Many big creators have predicted this, especially that bald guy. I hear this in his mouth on almost every video about Wuthering Waves. While showing weakness may be a nice word for people who want Genshin to crumble, what I think is Genshin developers showing a sign of change. I love seeing this. Even though I don't play Genshin anymore, I still hold a deep connection with it. After all, Genshin Impact was the very first gotcha game that I actually got addicted to. Like I said, they're not showing weakness, but are showing a sign of change, which would be helpful for their game to have a longer future. Now that Genshin Impact has a proper competition, they're now willing to listen to the player base. So know that the success of Wuthering Waves will also mean the success of Genshin Impact, at least on the player experience side. Keep in mind that this is just the start. If Wuthering Waves prove to be something that is scarier than what Genshin Impact developers thought, then this would in turn lead them to listen more to the player base because without them, who's paying the electricity bill? The main strategy of Wuthering Waves is to listen to the players, and if it works better than how Genshin Impact developers run things, then they would have no choice but to implement it as well. This news alone is a big thing because of an issue that has long been being talked about, which is why Honkai Star Rail developers can do things like give a higher resin cap, and Genshin developers can't. I mean, if it's just one extra run on whichever domain and they're going to get shit artifacts regardless, then why not give it to them? In my opinion, it is to portray that Genshin developers have the power and players, and CC's drama has no effect on them. Because of this, we could see that in the future, if Wuthering Waves is successful, or even new upcoming gacha games such as Azur Lane Promilia are successful, Genshin won't have any choice but to upgrade and implement more things that the players want, so they would be willing to stay on the game. For the players, this is a great time to ask for changes while Wuthering Waves is still a hot topic. Who knows, you guys might even get away with getting 10 pulls for the next anniversary. While this might be a small step for some of you, this is a great step in the right direction. I hope that salty Genshin players now understand why shitting on Wuthering Waves would give them nothing, and Wuthering Waves being successful would give them the ability to ask for new changes, just like what just happened. We should be supporting each other, either through criticism or celebration, whenever we see great news about each other's games. Let's hope that the next Genshin livestream would bring more positive changes to the game. This is going to be a short video. I just want to share this good news with you all, and I'm already making a new video about Wuthering Waves, so if you want to see it, leave a sub. With that, see you later for the next video.